New at 5, it's a mission with a real Cold War vibe to it. The Navy is creating a new team to track Russian subs in the Atlantic. Mike Gooding spoke to the admirals in charge and has details on Task Group Greyhound. Early Burke class guided missile destroyers will play a key role in the Navy's new Task Force Greyhound. The idea is to assign East Coast destroyers to be at the ready to support sustainment operations and to counter Russian undersea threats to the homeland. In recent years, Navy leaders have warned of the persistent and proximate threat from increased Russian submarine activity in the Atlantic Ocean and have cautioned that the continental United States is no longer a sanctuary safe from such threats. Undersea security is a priority in the Atlantic because our adversaries are closing the gap. Early Burke class guided missile destroyers with their advanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities are perfect for the job. The USS Thomas Hudner and the USS Donald Cook are the first two destroyers to join the group, to be joined in January by the USS The Sullivans and then next year by the USS Cole and USS Gravely, which will replace the Donald Cook when it goes in for scheduled maintenance. They'll work with a variety of Navy assets, including the aviation side, to complete the mission. We are very happy that the Surface Navy is leading the charge on this, but I think that there are just as many communities uh, that are excited about this and ready to take up this uh this mantra of task group Greyhound in charge with it. The Navy says the group reached initial operational capability on September 1st and will reach full operational capability next June when the Cole and Gravely return from overseas deployments. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The destroyers will still deploy with their carrier strike groups in addition to this new assignment, but the Navy says sailors will still get the same amount of time at home with their families. Rear Admiral Brendan McLean said, quote, this is not going to cut into that. 